Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, you're welcome to the family. My name is Dami and you're watching Dami Dimension. In my previous video, I did the cutting of this gorgeous dress. So this is going to be a continuation. We are going to be doing the stitching. So I'm going to be showing you how to put everything together in this video. So if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, hit the red button down below to subscribe. I post video every week so you don't want to miss out. Make sure to turn on the notification bell as well so you get notified whenever I upload. And if you find my video helpful, give me a thumbs up. This is very important for my channel. If you have any requests, let me know in the comment section and I'm going to try to make it happen. So let's jump straight into the video. So, Alright, so I'm going to begin by sewing in my zipper and I'm making use of two invisible zippers as you can see. I have a video on how to insert an invisible zipper already on my channel i'm going to link it in the description box or at the end of the video okay so right now i'm done sewing in my zipper and this is what it looks like you can see how clean it looks it's just actually going to be so hidden no one is going to tell that there is zipper there the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to sew in my dart if you watch the cutting part of this video remember i told you that we are going to be having four that one is going to be here one here one here and one here making four that in total if you haven't seen that video please please go and check it out okay so i'm just going to go ahead and sew in those that and after doing that this is what i have you can see how it's turning out so the next thing i'm going to do now is to insert my uh, center lining and before I insert the lining I'm going to be sewing in the dart as well you can see I already marked out the dart and after sewing in the dart this is what I have and I also went ahead and ironed my half inch joining allowance in just to indicate um, the seam allowance okay that step is optional you may not iron in your seam allowance okay so now we are joining and after joining we must have them wrong side facing each other right and in order to achieve that watch how i'm going to do it so i'm going to place it like this holding that seam allowance that i already ironed in and i'm picking the seam allowance on the main fabric like this and i'm going to go ahead and stitch it together so one thing i also did was that because my zipper is short i have extra space up here so i just went ahead and tacked that um extra space a little bit just about one inch stitch so i just placed a one inch stitch there just to hold the neckline together okay you know my zipper does not get to the neckline so then i have I ended up with a little space right here which is actually okay because it's uh the cape is going to cover it anyway so it's not going to show so you don't have to worry about that as well if you're using a short zipper like me okay so once you zip it this is what you're going to have the space is going to be covered so you don't have to worry about that at all okay i did that on the second side as well and now i'm done joining on that side you can see how it looks and in order to join on this side please please watch how i'm going to do it it's a little bit tricky here but trust me it's very simple so i'm doing this and going this way All right then this one i am going to bring it like this all right and i am going to be sewing this edge now with this edge now all the way down so once we are done doing that then we are going to be bringing it out from here and now i am done with the sewing so i'm going to be bringing it up now so once that is all done this is what I have and the next thing to do now is to attach the lining of the sides and the first thing I'm going to be doing is to sew in my dart on both sides okay and as you can see now I have done one side and I'm going to be using the second side to show you what I did okay so the very first thing I did was that I picked up my back panel for this side obviously and i placed them right sides facing each other and then i went ahead and joined them at the shoulder line first okay so right sides facing each other then i joined by half inch at the shoulder and then after doing that i picked 
the lining and I did the same thing to the lining of the back panel and the lining of the side of the front so shoulder to shoulder and joining by half of an inch so that's the lining of that side okay and once that is done this is what I have I went ahead and flat iron my seam allowance and I did the same thing on my lining as well so this is what the right side of the lining looks like so you are going to turn the right side of the lining now to the right side of your main fabric pin them together at the shoulder line and then you are going to be sewing on the armhole okay I hope it's clear it's actually very simple just try to follow me as much as you can okay so go ahead and sew on the armhole and turn it inside out so once I'm done this is what I have I'm done stitching at this point I went ahead and notched around the curved area so that I can have it all flat once I turn it inside out so go ahead and turn it inside out and give it a good press and once I'm done with that this is what I came up with here is the right side of my lining I also went ahead and top stitched on the lining so I just packed my extra seam allowance on the lining area and I top stitched if you don't know how to do that let me know in the comment okay so next remember that we are here to join this part together so we are going to be doing that now and the procedure is going to be similar to how we joined that center panel the other time so I'm just going to fold this part in this way and then I will flip my lining like this so that I can have that edge where I have my seam allowance together with the edge here where I have my zipper I can have both of them together then I'm going to join both of them straight down together leaving one inch open at the down part okay and once I'm done doing that I'm going to be bringing it inside out from this channel and after bringing it inside out this is what my result looks like you can see how clean it looks from the lining part and on the main fabric part this is what it looks like as well at this point everything is looking clean and perfect right so the next thing to do now is to insert my invisible zipper for the center back I have a tutorial on it already like I said so I'm not going to be explaining that again in this video so here is it after joining it and I also left one inch open at the down part let me just zip it open so that I can show you that I inserted the zipper on the main fabric only at this point. The lining is still left alone. So I inserted on the main fabric only. And the next thing to do now is to join the side. So basically the shaping or the fitting, whatever you call it. So now you are going to flip it this way, lining to lining, right side facing each other and main fabric to main fabric right sides facing each other and then you are going to be joining by whatever seam allowance you've left or by whatever fit you or fit your client so repeat the same thing to the other side and once I'm done doing that this is what I have okay so next I'm moving to the cape and I'm bringing one of the cape and the lining right sides facing each other and I'm going to be joining around by half inch here here and here okay and after doing that i went ahead and notched the curved area so that everything can be flat once i flip it inside out as you can see and then i went ahead and gave it a good good press okay so now i need to join my cape to my bodies and i just went ahead and made one of the side and i'm going to be using the second side to explain to you what i did okay so in order to join the cape I'm going to show you how to achieve a clean finish in inserting your cape okay so what you are going to do is to place the main fabric right side to the lining right side okay so main fabric to lining like this mm -hmm. then I'm just going to go ahead and pin it all the way around so I'm starting at the, at the center front and I'm going to match it all the way around to the back and I'm just going to go ahead and pin it. If you are yet to give this video a thumbs up, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up now to encourage me to make more videos for you guys. <laughs> 
all right so now that i am done pinning i'm not done yet actually <laughs> okay so basically just pin it pin it pin it around and then you are going to go ahead and stitch by half inch or whatever sieve allowance you've considered when you were cutting okay so just to show you what position your cape should be after pinning it around you can see that the cape is inside the one i have completed is outside so this is what you should have then go ahead and stitch all around okay and now that I'm done stitching, this is what I have. And the next thing I'm going to do now is to trim off some of the excess seam allowance on my main fabric, okay? So I have some excess seam allowance from that half inch. I'm going to go ahead and trim it on my main fabric only, okay? The one on the cape, I'm not trimming that. So just go ahead and trim it all the way around. And yeah just trim it to that center back so now that I'm done trimming this is what I have and let me just show you what it looks like you can see that I trimmed the one on the main fabric only leaving the seam allowance on the cape so I'm going to be needing that one on the cape that's why I didn't trim it off and the one on the main fabric is just going to be disturbing me that's why I trimmed it off okay so just to let you know why I'm doing what so the next thing to do now is to bring out your cape so that we can do the top stitch that I'm going to show you now, okay? So this extra seam allowance on the cape that we didn't trim off, I am going to go ahead and fold it twice and then I'm going to top stitch on it all the way around, okay? And this is just going to give us a clean finish so that we don't have real edges showing underneath your cape when the wind blows. <laughs> and please remember to bring out your zipper allowance out of it so you don't stitch it down all right so i'm just showing you um let me just explain this to you again because i'm yet to do this top stitch on the other side that i've done so i'm just going to be doing everything together so i'm having my cape flying up like this then i'm going to be doing the roll hem all the way around so from the beginning to the end all through the neckline okay so once i'm done doing it this is what i have you can see how clean it looks let me just zoom in so you can see looks good right yeah okay so the next thing is to set this aside and then we are going to be working on the down part so the first thing i'm doing to the down part is to do my hemming so fold it twice and stitch all the way around once that is done i will do the same thing to this second one which is going to be turning to a single piece because i'm going to join two of them together so after joining them together then i also gather the waistline to the size of my waist if you don't know how to do a gathered stitch let me know in the comment okay so i gathered it to the size of my uh, waist on the bodies I'm just trying to place it on it right here to show you guys that the waistline of my gathers equals the waistline of my bodies. Unfortunately, the zipper is not letting me stretch it enough to let you guys see. But anyways, that was what I did. It's equal. Okay. <laughs> so the next thing to do now is to attach the bodies to the down part. In order to do that, we need to have the right side facing each other. So I'm just trying to place it in a way that I can have my right side facing the right side of my bodies but before I do that I'm going to be trying to find the midpoint of my gathered skirt okay so remember all those one inch that I told you to leave so this is going to enable us to deal with lining to lining main fabric to main fabric while attaching the two panels i hope you understand but let's just proceed so right now i am notching the center so i can just find the center and i'm going to place this center of my skirt to the center of my bodies i'm going to pin it from the center point and i'm going to um pin it all the way through my waistline this is just to make sure that 
the skirt spreads evenly on the bodies okay so that's why i'm trying to start from the waistline once you're done pinning go ahead and stitch by half inch as you can see i also gathered my lining and i'm i'm going to do it the same way like i did to the main fabric so i will find the midpoint and i will match it to the midpoint of my lining on the bodies and i'm going to go ahead and stitch as well by half of an inch so may um <laughs> right side to right side the struggle you guys it's not easy <laughs> so um i'm pinning from the center point right side to right side of the lining so i did lining to lining main fabric to main fabric that's just going to ensure that we have a clean finish at the end of the day so i'm still making use of that one inch that i left when i was joining my bodies so i'm going to be making use of it it's going to enable me to make the stitches okay so this is what it looks like once i'm done doing that on the wrong side and on the right side it pretty much looks the same clean like i want to achieve as you can see we have no raw edges at this point which is good right so i hope you guys are following me <laughs> anyways so the next thing to do now is to kind of combine the lining together with the zipper and main fabric because we know that at this point a lining is just on its own so we need to make it involved in the whole situation you know so in order to do that before i do that actually i'm going to continue stitching my zipper all the way to the down part so i pinned it down and i'm going to stitch it to the down part like so and after doing that then we can go ahead and combine the lining together with them and in order to do that you're going to flip your lining like this so that you can have the uh, right side of your lining to the right side of your main fabric okay so just try to pull it out and align all of them together like that all the way down so just try to match up that edge as you can see keep pulling out your lining so that everything flushes make sure you've done this part already and then go ahead and stitch all together by half inch do the same thing to the other side and once you're done doing that this is what i have and i'm going to bring it inside out now and after bringing it out wait for it wait for it yeah this is what we have so obviously we have something this clean on the other side as well once we are done doing it okay so here is what it looks like after i zipped it up so this is basically what you're going to be having on the inside so the next and final thing to do now is to bring the main fabric to main fabric and stitch all the way up just to meet up with your zipper right here and you are going to be repeating the same thing to the lining as well so pick up your lining and turn it right sides together like this and then stitch all the way up and stop where your zipper basically stops okay so once you're done doing that that's basically it about the dress the dress is completed i really find this tutorial interesting and i hope you do as well this is what the finished result looks like i hope you like it i like it the clients really liked it so if you've learned something so far in this tutorial please remember to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so yeah so just imagine if you have a cute dress like this and you can actually breastfeed your child without having to worry about anything in public and you know the amazing part about this dress is that the cape is just gonna cover any part of your breast that is trying to poke out you know what i mean and here is what the client looks like in the dress she's so cute oh my gosh follow me up on instagram at dami dimension and like our facebook page same name dami dimension and until i see you in my next video bye bye